When I made the notion of PG Hobby Strucker, I never expected to hit over 7,000 downloads, but it did. And a lot of you guys asked, what if this wasn't just for habits? What if we could track goals, projects, tasks, everything with that same game feel? So I built Live Game Mode, a free notion template where everything you do earns XP and coins. So let me show you how it works. So here is the new life game mode dashboard and now not only good and bad habits will earn you xps and points just like what we have in the rpg habit tracker but also your quests which is tasks reflection which is journaling also your goals and projects which is objectives and also missions now let me show you how you can start using this template and collect xps to level up your level and collect coins to buy rewards so let's go through each page but before that this template has a video tutorial that will help you to create your good habits bad habits and many things else but today i'm just going to show you the preview of the template so here we have our good habits and bad habits page so here you can track your today good habits we can name it today good habits i think that's much better here also today bad habits so here once you complete a habit you will collect this number of xp and coins as you can see here and if we complete all of them we can collect more xp and points if you want to change a habit xp and coins easily just click on it and change the coins and the xp number also here for bad habits if we did a bad habit we will lose this number of xp and coins as you can see for example here we have 70 xp if we did this fast food bad habit we see now it's go back to 14 xp and yeah here we have also good habits page so you can see this month and all time and the same thing for bad habits we can see this month and all time and the view of today and once you do a bad habit you see here that you lost 13 xp and for example 25 coins so that's what we have in the habits page and just like i said before when you get the template there's a video tutorial that show you how to create good habits and bad habits and also from where to get those icons okay here we have our character so our character here we have three properties we have our total xp so the number of xp you will collect from good habits from quests from journaling from goals and missions and this number of xp we will use it to level up your uh, character level okay and the level is based on thousand xp so each time you earn a thousand XP, you will go a level up. And here we have coins, which also you will collect them from good habits, from tasks, from journaling, etc. And we will use those coins to buy rewards. And this time I made a big update to the reward. Actually, I did a feature that I have in my paid notion template. I will show you later on how to use it. Then moving on, we have our daily quests page, which is tasks. So just a simple task manager page. Here we have our today tasks. For example, we can add go to gym and we make this one for example second priority then we have for example a walk for let's say 30 minutes and we make this one first priority and you will see that's automatically the first priority will be the first one you will see here then finally for example we can add something like record this notion live game mode youtube video this one for example my third priority of today and once we complete those tasks we're going to earn 13 xp and 15 coins so if you click on it we will see that we earn 13 xp and 50 coins now let me show you if you want to change tasks default xp and coins and the same thing for uh, objectives missions and also journaling we go to settings so in settings here we can change our tasks points and coins goals missions journaling so for example already we have four, uh, 13 uh, points but let's make it just 20 for example and let's make the coins something like 40. now if we go back to our tasks manager or daily quest here we will see that automatically all of them has 20 xp and 14 coins so you only need to change your point settings once moving on in our tasks manager or daily quest we have this week view so you can see this week tasks we have this month and also finally we have all time tasks grouped by months so that's what we have in the daily quests here now let's go back we have reflection logs which is our journaling another simple page but so effective so here your daily journal will be created automatically and once you enter your journal and start journaling what happens to you today all the stuff all the main actions um your mood you can also fill your mood here make sure that you log your journal log in your journal we make sure that you already did your journal so once we check on it we can see that now we earned 
10 XP and 35 coins. And also, just like I said before, if you want to change this default point, we can go to the settings and change it. Here we have this week view, this month view, and all time view grouped by months of your journal. Moving on, we have objectives and missions, which is they are actually related to each other. So in our objectives page here, we can create our goals. Here we have two views. We have 2025 and 2026. So for example, let's add a goal, which is um, something like build my dream physic this year, for example, or maybe um, gain 75 kg and for example, 12% body fat. For example, here we're going to add the start date of our goal. Let's make it January 1. And here we're going to add the end date. Let's make it December 31. So we have the entire year to work on this goal. And here we have the progress. So our progress is based on our missions, which is projects or we can call them milestones. So in order to achieve this goal, in my opinion, what we have to do is bulk for at least, let's make it seven months. And here we're going to add cut for five months. And here we're going to see that we have our progress now is 0%. But once we complete, for example, this first milestone, we can see that we have 15%. And also in our mission, we're going to earn 500 XP and 1000 coins. Once, for example, we finished also this project or milestone, we can see now in the progress, we have 100%. And then we can switch our status from not started to done. And like that, we earn 10,000 XP and 20,000 coins. So this is how you can so this is how we can track your goals and add missions and milestones related to them. Also in our mission here, uh, we can add tasks related to them. So for example, if we add this one, um, let's add January one, and we're gonna add seven months. So actually, it should be the next month. So at thirteen, June thirteen, and here we can add tasks related to this bulk for seven months. So for example, we can add something like uh, go to gym five times a week or six times um here we can add eat 2000 maybe 2000 2500 calories every day so those are daily tasks you can do in order to achieve this project or this mission and then for example let's say this one is done and also this one is done now we can see that we have 100 percent in the progress and we collected 500 xp and thousand coins so yeah that's what we have in missions and objectives now final things we have rewards so now the updates that i made in this reward is now you can buy rewards multiple times without having to create it again from scratch for example let's say today um you work hard you finished all your daily tasks then you want to have a one hour of video games then you can buy it and if you go to the bought view here we can see that you bought this item one time if we click on it again two times if we click on it again three times of course the number of coins will be multiplied of the purchase times so here we have 120 will be multiplied on three and it will be subtract from your coins here just make sure that you have enough coins to buy rewards and to have enough coins of course you have to do your hard work you have to do your tasks you have to do your good habits, avoid doing bad habits, you have to complete your goals and missions. So that's what we have in the live game mode Notion template. It's totally free, the link in the bio below. And let me know if you have any suggestions to improve this template. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.